that's just like instant score right there. Hi, I'm Don Bodan, and today we're doing a quick look of Sound Iron's UFO Tone. I'm a huge fan of hang drums and tongue drums and tank drums. They've got complex harmonics and lots of overtones. And thanks to Sound Iron's love of weird and mysterious instruments, they found this particular instrument that they sampled buried in a field. Library downloads is 3.89 gigabytes. It's a sample tongue drum with mallets, two different microphone positions, comes with 20 ambient patches, as well as 20 custom sound design effects and ambient presets. The interface is the new Sound Iron interface with LFOs, filters, glides, and arpeggios, and an effects rack. It's not just a contact instrument, it also comes with all of the files as waves, and the contact instruments themselves require the full version of Contact 5.8 or higher. UFO Tone normally sells for 29 bucks. Okay, I've got UFO Tone up. This is not, by far, any means my first rodeo with Sound Iron Instruments. I'm just going to play a little bit of the uh, tones for the way it loads up and share mic one and two and the ambiences. Then I'm going to start playing around a little bit more because there's a load more you can get out of these instruments because the way they've developed them. Here's just the microphone one. Microphone two, 15 feet away. I'm gonna mute my mic so you can hear it clear. And those green keys are the samples. It's been stretched chromatically, so we've got a piano-like keyboard to play with ambiences We start to get some really fun stuff when we play around with both of the instruments. Layers together, two different mic positions and the ambience texture. And there's also a sub synth layer. White noise, brown noise, pink noise. Thank you. 
And here's the ARP. Filter effects and LFO, which you can control and create a lot of things. So that is just the basics of the instrument there. Let's jump right into the um, effects presets. And I think this is going to give us a really good idea of just how creative we can get with this instrument. Here's the alien fishbowl. Yeah, I just love these. And of course, these are all arpeggios, arpeggios inside the instrument, so the tempo seeked to your DAW. Got some mod wheel changes. Yeah, neat little sixteenth pattern there. Another one with a mod wheel change. I'm not hearing it though. Sometimes the mod wheel change is all about your effects. Let's see if we're seeing anything there. No, not seeing anything there. Interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, that's just like instant score right there.
Yeah, that's great. Now what the wand wheel is doing in this one, if you're not familiar with the interfaces, is that it's actually going from uh, selection A to selection B. And if we go over and look, we see that our ambience is only on layer B. So when we're playing here on layer A, we just have our tonal uh, instruments and the subsynth only on layer B do we get our ambiences. A little choir comes out. And then this one's cool because the way they've set this one up, they've got uh, effects controlled. Nice use of the mod wheel. And with that, I think we got a pretty good idea of what UFO tone is all about. Again, I absolutely love these kind of hang drum, tank drum instruments, so I'm always eager to check them out. Uh, the, the sound iron interface really makes any sample set um, capable of becoming so much more. Very creative way to not only be inspired, but program and get some Insta scores. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the library. Is this something you're interested in? It's just such a affordably priced library that if you're a ton drum, hang drum nut like myself, are you going to be grabbing it for just whatever, 29 bucks? Uh, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts about the library. Thanks so much for spending a little time with me here. Be sure to head back around on Fridays for the Deal Compressor, where we share the latest news and all the sales that make our radar.